Hi, hi guys, we're back here with a uh, one more tutorial for this tank project that we're doing in Unity. And um, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make this um, death of the tank a lot more flashy and interesting because right now, you know, it is dead, but you wouldn't know it. it. I mean, it doesn't move and doesn't do anything, but yeah, it's not like it does much. I mean, yeah, it is not very uh, interesting. So how about we um, we add a couple of things. The first one we're gonna add a um, black smoke that goes out of the tank when it's destroyed and the other one is gonna be a um, that we're gonna have the uh, turret of the tank this part here blow away. Boom! Yeah, sounds funny. So let's start creating the, uh, the easy part which is the uh, black smoke so in here we're gonna create a um, anti destroyed okay we're gonna destroy and uh, this destroyed uh, part is gonna it's gonna contain two things it's gonna be it's gonna contain both the uh, the turret that is gonna blow up and the particle system. So we're gonna start with a particle system effects particle system. We're gonna call it black smoke. Yeah. So cool. First thing we want to do is we're gonna put it a little bit here, up here, and well, mm, we're not gonna we're not we don't want it to play an awake. We, um, lifetime, I don't know, five, maybe, maybe let's leave it in three. I don't know, we'll see. Speed. We want, okay, so emission, rate of time, um, I mean, we'll see about it, but uh, definitely in a cone. Do we want it in a cone? Maybe we want them to go uh, out of a, um, small uh, sphere or a hemisphere now we can turn it like 90 degrees yeah we're gonna make it smaller so like 1 point two or point four something like this yeah so um, maybe the initial velocity shouldn't be so so high maybe we could give it up as, as one Okay. Thing is, we want the velocity to start small, but then to pick up, like uh, because you know, smoke is is um, weighs less than than an air, and that's why it goes up. So well, once we have the emission, well, the shape done. What's the so velocity over lifetime? So. Let's work in world uh, coordinates. Actually, uh, we have this force over lifetime, which we didn't have before, so maybe we should just add this. And world coordinates, and let's add 1. Or 0.5. Yeah, maybe, maybe we can... 0.75, but... Let's uh, add some dumping. Limit velocity over lifetime. So we are some dumping. Um, so this starts to look a lot more like uh, like smoke, right? This is like something looks a lot more like smoke. Okay, that's cool. Very good. Um, we could change the, uh, the full particle system for a different material. I'm not sure if we have one that is appropriate. Uh, probably not. So, well, we are gonna keep this one. That's alright. Now, 
the first thing I mean the first thing we can notice is that it's not black it's white so let's make it black color other left so we're gonna paint it black very dark gray yeah, black and let's make it finish in a very dark gray And we're also going to make it uh, less opaque over time. We may want it to be uh, more opaque during a while, and then it could even be not fully opaque to start with, like 192, then it goes to um, 160, and then it goes to nothing. Cool. Um, good. And um, we're also gonna make it bigger. Um, the initial size. Let's make it four. I don't know. That is a little bit too much. Three. Seems to be uh, better. And let's change the size over the lifetime. So it's uh, from zero. Let's start. Let's uh, get up to five and. Yeah, let's start in two. Skip. And I think this is a scale, so let's do this. Yeah, in one. So, yeah. Um. So, yeah, this looks a lot more like what we wanted, right? Yeah, particularly if we go and, and hide this. We hide this, we go back to the black smoke, yeah. Definitely is. We could even have a bigger force uh, upwards. Yeah, it looks looks okay-ish. Yeah, I think that's alright. Yeah. So we got the uh, appropriate um, particle effect that we have to trigger when uh, we when we are destroyed. Well, let's do it. Save the prefab and let's go to the code. So we're gonna add here a uh, public. Um, particle system destroyed uh, effect so we're gonna since we are already doing quite a few things let's um, let's do a um, private uh, void trigger explosion FX okay so explosion not destruction So basically, these are the um, these triggers all the effects that need to happen when the tank reaches a health of zero. So an explosion is the first one, um, but not the only one. You can even do it before that. And we are also gonna uh, trigger the black uh, effects uh, that are going to be um, associated to the tank. The black smoke, etc. We could have all those other effects like um, sparks going out of the tank or don't know, things like that. If uh, um, destroyed effect is not null. Destroyed effect. Play. Well, let's make sure that uh, destroyed effect game objects are active true and 
play. I think I mean it should be okay. So uh, here we go. We got the health, and we tell okay. Black smoke is what we want to happen when uh, when the tank is destroyed. That's it. So there we go. Very good. There we see. So yeah, it's working fine, and yeah, it is. It's cool. It's now it, it's obvious that this is um, destroyed, but you know it's not too flashy. Let's make it. Um, let's make the the turret blow away. So there, there, there are lots of ways that we could do it, but I want to do it um, by making the. Um, basically, well, the way I'm I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna be. Um, hiding this actual turret, which is the one that the shooting uh, component uses, we're gonna hide it and instead we're gonna create a new one which is gonna be, well, sorry, we're gonna unhide or activate another one with a box collider that we're gonna give a huge um, impulse upwards and, and that's gonna be it. So in order to do that our tank health component needs to um, know which one is the, the turret. So, uh, game object, um, turret object, a normal turret object, and we're gonna need the destroyed turret object. Um, as I said before, the destroyed turret is gonna have some well it's gonna have a rigid body so and we're gonna give it some pull some some initial force upwards so let's add a so let's change for the straight turret object for the straight turret as a rigid body in here what we do is hide the normal turret if normal turret object is not null normal turret object set active is false we don't need to set normal turret object dot game object because normal turret object is actually a uh, game object and we just set it to false and, and that, that basically hides there the turret nothing else to do so let's put it like that and um, Activate the destroyed turret and give it some big force upwards. Okay, if destroyed um, turret is not null, um, destroyed turret. So, turret destroy turret, uh, game object, set active true. And give it the initial force. So, uh, we're gonna give it a force. I don't know, whatever. And the angle is going to be um, 75 degrees, for instance. That means that we're going to be um, sending the. Um, oops, sorry. Sorry, guys. Uh, we're gonna be sending the turret flying upwards, but in a but also in a in a random direction. So first we have to calculate the initial force. 
So, um, let's calculate a random angle in the exit plane to th to throw it, uh, yeah, to have it um, fly. So float xc. So let's call it alpha the angle. Um, math, I don't know it's gonna be a random range. Zero point zero minus math of pi, math of pi. Okay, this is a, an angle in ra in radians that's uh, from minus one hundred eighty degrees to one hundred eighty degrees, and uh, that means that we're gonna get um, a um, float sin alpha is gonna be math f sin alpha and cos alpha is gonna be the cosine of alpha that that generates a um, basically an uh, xc plane vector but then we have so then we when we have to calculate the normalized direction normalized direction and for that we need the float um, sin uh, beta which we're gonna it's gonna be so uh, we're gonna call beta. It's gonna be math f vector rad for the um, destroy the force. Okay. So this is gonna be the sine of beta, and it's gonna be a cosine of beta. So why do I calculate all these sines and cosines? Because now we're gonna calculate the vector three fly turret fly direction. So I'm going to vector 3, and it's going to be um, um, the cosine of beta times the sine of alpha, the sine of beta, and the cosine of beta times the cosine of alpha. Why? Because um, the, the sine of beta is how high up we go, and the cosine is... Uh, well, it, it's, the uh, how big the the vector is in the xc plane. I really would need a um a whiteboard or something to show this clearly. I need to get one. Um anyway, this is um I if I haven't made a mistake, this is gonna be the right um direction, and then apply the force. We're gonna be uh, destroyed to red. Add force. Turret fly direction times turret initial force, and we are gonna be uh, using a force initially. We'll see. Okay, that's cool. Uh, but we don't have the destroyed turret, so it's not gonna be easy to do um, this. And it's not gonna be. This is not. Nothing is gonna happen until we have the destroyed turret. The first thing we can do is um, create the uh, tank turret here, and yes, doing this will ensure that the um, the turret is um, there. We go. You see, it disappears when you hit. But that's that's not too much. That's not uh, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for it to go flying. So we're gonna go and duplicate this turret. We're gonna put it here, we're gonna call it destroyed turret. We are um yeah, that's alright, we're gonna add a um box collider. Where oh well that's <laughs> that's big, isn't it? Let's make it smaller. Right. Here, 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 and that's about it. And box collider. Um, oh, what is this? Oh, the muscle, the muscle. We don't need the muscle here, right? No, that's a box collider. And we need a rigid body too, because this is going to be. Um, this is going to be an object that is going to be flying around. It definitely needs gravity, 
we're gonna give it a mass of 10 and yeah that's that's it no constraints no nothing so um yeah we have a destroyed turret but a, but we need to make sure it's deactivated by default then we give this read body to the to the tank health component and here we go let's see what happens um to be honest i'm not sure how high whoops good <laughs> um it has flown away quite high maybe too high yeah and it's not rotating which is quite annoying so um yeah the first part is easy to fix so we can just reduce this to you know for instance this and it should fly a lot less uh, okay. uh. i'm not good at this There we go. Okay, maybe a little bit more. We'll put it to 5,000. But the main thing is we want it to go flying away. So we want to give it an initial torque in a random direction. So um, let's do that. Let's try it to red. Any torque. It's gonna be, I got no idea let's put it to 100 I don't know and yep so we're gonna pick a axis. let's have a random axis for the initial torque Unknown a sphere on unit sphere. This basically gives us a random vector tree on the um, on this axis, and then we add the torque destroy turret uh, torque torque axis times destroy turret initial torque and again we can apply it as a force so let's see what happens well not bad but we could add a bigger torque let's see Not bad, again, we can have it higher. <laughs> That's it. That looks a lot better. Yep. I'm gonna even make it bigger, like right? 85. good at this yeah lots better I like it a lot so yep yeah, now we have a flashy destruction for the for the tank so yeah we don't know what we we're looking for uh, we achieve what we're looking for this is this is gonna be the last tutorial I'm gonna do on this project uh, I will soon start a different project to do a um to tackle some very different uh, parts of unity 
things like um, procedural ge uh, geometry or mesh generation, procedural texture generation, um, procedural movement, stuff like that that I I'm interested in and I think it's gonna be cool. I'm pretty I'm pretty uh, um, useful. Well, not not sure if it's gonna be pretty useful, but it's really gonna be cool and I think it's gonna be uh, teaching uh, you guys if you're interested in this uh, some interest some interesting concepts and and things that you may not know. And then after that, I'll I'll I start a new project like this one, but uh, but different with a character animation state machine for the uh, character and uh, I don't know. We'll see where we go from there. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you enjoyed it, please uh, smash the like button, subscribe if you if you're interested in getting more of these videos, and I hope to see you guys in the in the next video. Bye.